I believe that we're all artists uh, as young children. Um, you know, if you catch a kid drawing with crayons or markers or even with a stick in the dirt, that's a child being an artist expressing themselves. Um, as far as a profession goes, to become a professional artist, I began to see myself becoming a professional artist roughly around in my mid to late 20s. Um, and it began in 1993 when I was uh, a brand new father and I just needed to express the new emotions of becoming a brand new father. And um, my first art break uh, was when one of my medical field um, associates that I worked with um, bought one of my first painting. He commissioned me to do a painting for him. And uh, that was pretty sweet, you know? It was pretty sweet. And I was like, I can, get, I can do this. So uh, that was roughly 28 years old, this, uh, late 90s, 28. And um, early 2000s, I started to develop the skills to become a professional artist. Well, my style is a mixture and a blending uh, and a syncreticism of both African-American, traditional African-American Southern folk art mixed with a bit of Egyptian hieroglyphics mixed with a bit of Byzantine uh, uh, Byzantine artwork uh, there, um, mixed with uh, some Mayan and Aztec influences and some Middle Ages European woodcuts. So what I have, I tend to call it Afro-geometric Afro symbolism. So Afro black art, Geometric, lots of symbols and signs and shapes, symbolism. Lots of making those symbols and everything blend together so that it's an easily readable piece of work. Hands down, uh, my favorite type of work to do is illustration because that's the basis. Love to draw, love it. Uh, I, I draw every day. I try to dedicate at least four hours a day into drawing. And it's just part of my routine now, my discipline, something that I've developed over the past few years. So I take my illustrations and then I'll translate them into different mediums. I'll try a drawing in many different ways. I'll try painting the same thing in acrylic and oil. Not so good with oil yet, but I'm getting there. Then I'll try that same picture with linoleum block printing. And then I'll try to enlarge it and go big with yeah, the mural work and everything. Um, so I want to say it's a tie between illustration and printmaking. The illustration gets me the drawing. The printmaking gets me lots of the same drawing, which is super fun. Here's the advice that I would love to give to any young artist and something that I wish that someone would have told me when I was a younger artist. First of all, you can do this, all right? You can be a professional artist. It is a real job. You can make money doing it, all right? That's one. Two, do the work. You're gonna start off copying a lot of other artists in the beginning, and that's okay. You're gonna start copying other people's styles, and that's okay. But eventually, you're gonna to have to develop your own style. All right, all right? Focus, number three. Focus, focus, focus. Sometimes you're gonna to have to miss that party. Sometimes you're gonna to have to miss that show. Sometimes you're not gonna be able to hang out with your friends because if you're really serious about it, 
you're going to have to dedicate yourself to it um, and be thinking long game. Start thinking long game, 5, 10, 20 years out. Then do your best work, present your best work and share it with other people. Do not be afraid to share your work with other people who are not your friends and who are doing what you're doing uh, out in the real world, other professional artists. Do not uh, take criticism, professional criticism, to your heart. Don't let it hurt your feelings. Uh, and don't let the praise blow your head up, all right? Try to stay in the middle of the road, all right, with your art and be honest with yourself as an artist. Am I growing? Am I learning? Can I change? Can I get better? And uh, deliver your best work on time and be nice to people because you never know who out there out there in the world, and we're using social media a lot these days, you never know who's watching you turn into the artist that you're becoming, who really has your back in the back of the scenes, and they're really, really rooting for you. So be cool, all right? And work, make your best work, be nice to people, and stick with it and you're going to get there. Trust me. I trust me. I am totally grateful to be able to work here in Arkansas and share my work across the beautiful state of Arkansas with people uh, who are in the arts councils and at colleges uh, and the opportunities that I've had. Uh, it's just astounding. So.